Hello, my fellow dragons. So, if you haven't heard, Miharu the Fox recently uploaded a collaboration video in celebration of the 20th anniversary of Spyro and to the Dragonfly. In said video, many Spyro fans, myself included, came together to voice our own opinions on the game itself. My voice can also be heard in that video, but only briefly. So, I decided to show the full version of my thoughts on ETD. I recorded the audio for the video a couple months back, but it's only a minute long. But I do highly recommend checking out the original video first before giving this one a listen. With that said, enjoy. Hey there, it's your boy Travis here. So here are my overall thoughts on Enter the Dragonfly. Although I don't think it's the worst Spyro game per se, since I have played worse, it's still not very good. The story for this game is pretty bland and forgettable, and chances are you won't really care about it as you play through the game. I still have no idea why they decided to bring Ripto back considering he actually fell in love with the last time we saw him. And no, the game doesn't explain it. This game incorporates a new set of breath abilities this time around. But Bubble Breath is the most important one. I will admit that I do find the concept appealing, but the poor execution made catching dragonflies a lot more annoying than it has any right to be. And to top it all off, due to the rush development, there's also a lot of bugs, glitches, awful sound effects, sluggish controls, and loading times that make Sonic 06 look like it can load faster. Sonic 06, of all things. But there is a way you can beat the game without actually doing anything. All you have to do is simply start the game, go to this spot over here, head bash into it, defeat Ripto, and that's it. The game just ends like that. Best game ever, 11 out of 10. 